Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Nick Builds an Iron Farm. How have you been for the past week? I have been very well, very well. I've been quite busy as you can tell. We have finished chaining. Uh, we have 3,300 villages made. And in that entire time, I only broke one. Uh, there was there was only one village missing and I've already solved that problem. Uh, since there was the only one, I could just create a new village and place it in here. And since that's the newest village, I don't even have to worry about uh, any alignment issues. So all, all I had to do, it was somewhere, I think it was around 23 up from the bottom. So all I had to do was, uh, um, you know, all I had to do was create a new village, move it in, and everything was fine. So, uh, it's kind of surprising actually that I've made it this far, 3,300 villages and only one, only one of them is broken. And if there was another broken, it's not such a big deal. I'll just, uh, if I have to move the other village out, that's fine. I can just create a village, uh, move it into that slot, um, and then continue. There's, there's, is not really a big deal. Uh, when you're working with this many, it's surprisingly easy actually just to manipulate villages if you know how they work and that's something that I have learned a lot about in this build if you can't tell. Uh, I actually also have a fail safe so if for any reason I need to uh, go back I, I know of a way that I can link all the doors on the the storage towers back up in, in such a way that I can just come back and break all the doors and redo it if I need to but since I have so many backups I'm, I'm working with maybe seven or eight backups so every time I back up I just I just uh, delete the oldest one um, so backup one becomes backup two backup two becomes backup three and so on so I mean I, it's pretty fail safe at the moment I've had several screw ups and every now and then I will mess up when I do backups like I did last week uh, but even then that was the furthest that I that I was set back I was only set back maybe um, what was it couple hundred villages which is not bad considering we're working with so many so I mean basically now we're uh, taking all the villages and lining them up as you can tell um, I'm just taking it one one layer at a time unfortunately and then I will have to go back through and do it one layer at a time again but I mean overall it's not taking very long I haven't been able to put much time into it but you even the small amount of time that i have been able to put into it i've already i've gotten up around 15 levels i believe we are now around just around 15. so yeah also i i didn't really have time to record hours of footage or you know like an hour and a half to, to two hours so that i could condense it and speed things up so you know you're you're seeing it in real time basically uh it's not such a big deal this time because i mean uh, since this isn't, since there's no, like there's no trickery to this, it's simply just placing doors in this order. It's exactly the same for every single row. So I mean, seeing seeing just one row made or one uh, layer, I guess I should call it one layer made. You basically see the entire thing. I'm just doing this 75 times. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, there, there really isn't all that much to talk about. Everything is going incredibly smoothly with this. Now, one, one problem that this is going to have is the amount of villagers it is going to take to run this and to make every spawning pad uh, spawn a bull. It's going to take so many villagers. It's going to take more than the villager world limit. So once I get all the villagers in... Um, villages may start being all screwy so I'm going to have to be really careful with my placement of villagers and uh, I'll have to work out a way to solve that but so that's gonna be another uh, stumbling block I guess you could say another another just something that I'm going to have to address just an issue that I'm gonna have to address basically um, I'm going to have to figure out how I can do this with as few villagers as possible uh, without taking a huge performance hit uh, because if I if I were to put in enough villagers to make this work at full capacity uh, the world wouldn't wouldn't last very long so basically each floor will only be able to hold 
one uh, iron golem uh, per spawning pad. So as where where the regular iron foundry is able to hold four at a time, each floor at the moment will only be able to hold one. So I'm working on a way around that. Uh, that's just something that, that we'll have to figure out uh, as as we go. Basically, there there's really no reason no reason to worry about it at the moment. Um, because either way, I'm going to have to grind and get all these doors in. So uh, that's just something that we'll have to figure out later. Um, but I mean, at the, at the moment, things are just going really, really well with the build, actually. Uh, it's looking like I'm going to be finished very soon. Every now and then, I have a little hiccup with the door placement. Uh, looks like I, I didn't there. Every n But sometimes when the doors kind of act weird like that and they take a while to uh, line up properly, I get a little bit <laughs> worried. But... I mean, it's not really a big deal. Every every door has two, no, every door has one extra door just in case. So there's 11 on each side and you need 21 doors, so yeah. Every door has uh, one extra door just in case. Uh, because in general, the maximum doors that I will mess up on in a village is one. So there there is that room for error. That's, all, that's really all the room for error that you need. Because, I mean, it, it's it's actually kind of hard to mess things up at this point. It, it just takes a... Like, you see how I missed a door there? I'm wondering why it's not lining up. And then there's a door chilling right there that I don't see. So instead of seeing that I missed the door, I just bro broke all these doors. Which, I mean, isn't isn't really such a bad thing. And another thing is that all, all these doors are acting really glitchy. So sometimes when I break them, it'll take five six seconds for it to realize that there is not a door there even though it is visually not there so anyway it lined up perfectly here so oh well so yeah i mean as far as the iron farm goes that's really all there is to say things are going very well we're finished chaining we have 3300 villages and now we are just lining them up to make them small golems the village on the bottom is actually uh, lined up perfectly and i have uh, it's actually spawning golems at, you know, roughly half the rate of the iron foundry, but it's still spawning golems and it's spawning golems very quickly, actually. So, um, anyway, that's where the iron farm is. As far as my channel goes, I'm, I'm not, fin I'm, I don't think I'm going to finish Amnesia, Just Amnesia Justine unless anybody really wants to see it. If somebody really wants to see me finish Amnesia Justine, then I will. Uh, but... I mean, as far as it goes, I'm not, I'm not really having fun with this story. It's not, it's just, it's really hard. Basically it's, it's so hard that I'm, that it's not fun anymore. I've had to replay the entire game so many times because you can't save. And I mean, I'm honestly just not enjoying it anymore. So that, that's why I'm moving on. If somebody really wants to see me play it, then I will do it. But if I'm not having fun with it, then I really just don't see the point. So Right here, I'm kind of wondering what's going on with the doors. They're looking a little bit uh, wonky, so I believe I go back and break a bunch of uh, a bunch of slices. But oh, it doesn't really matter. So, like like I said, I'm not finishing Amnesia now. I I am starting Amnesia: A Machine for Pigs. First episode is going up tomorrow, uh, Monday. If you're watching this on Monday, I don't know. <laughs> First episode of Amnesia a Machine for Pigs is going up on Monday. Um, I'm not I'm not going to be starting a secondary LP yet. It will p p potentially be next week. Probably another two weeks ahead because I don't want to have two series being started at the same time. Yeah, right here things are acting wonky. So I, uh, I'm just going to break them to, make to fix things basically. Uh, it's not that... Oh, maybe I didn't. Hmm. It's not that... Actually, I don't, I don't remember what was going through my head when I was doing this. <laughs> it was really late, and I was just trying to get a little bit of, a uh, little bit of footage. Anyway, uh, project Project Zomboid is still apparently going strong. I almost died. I almost died last episode, and that that was very scary. I was humbled a bit, as I have said many times that I've been humbled. But see, there's a there's a point where I things get glitchy and I couldn't move. So there are several bugs going on with this world, if you can't tell. So, uh, so yeah, like I said, um, Amnesia Machine for Pigs is starting. Project Zomboid is continuing. 
And as soon as I'm finished with this build, Minecraft will be continuing. Um, we may not have an episode of Super Flat Survival go up this week because of apparent schedule conflicts. I'm not entirely sure what is going on with uh, the other people that are a part of the series. Uh, so un unfortunately, it looks like there may not be a Super Flat Survival going up. Uh, but but we will see. Only time will tell. So, um, I mean, I guess there's really not much to not much else to say uh, at the at the moment. Oh, do, don't forget uh, Mega Neko. Mega Neko is the music in the background, and you should really go check out her on. You should just go check out her music on SoundCloud and Bandcamp. Definitely throw her a few bucks on Bandcamp if you can. Because her music is awesome. And she's a really nice person. She doesn't ask for any money for her licenses. And I thought that was just fantastic. So uh, links are in the description for Megan Echo. Go check her out, please. <laughs> uh, she is she is way too nice. And she has given me too much uh, for me to not at least, um, you know, refer people to her. So anyway, um, make sure... Also, if you want to see me stream, I'm currently streaming Tomb Raider on Twitch. And I've, I've been streaming every day. Every day. Uh, about once a week, I'll skip a day. Uh, sometimes it's Wednesday. Wednesday seems to be the days that I've been skipping the most. But uh, I will be streaming on Schust from now on, on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. The times are going to be a little bit wonky for the my schedule is going to be a little bit wonky for the next couple of weeks because I'm having a major schedule change at, at my work uh, which is actually in my home but in my room but uh, anyway so uh, streaming schedule is going to be really weird just for the next few weeks but hopefully uh, I will be able to get things sorted out soon enough but yeah like I said I will be streaming on choost.co's twitch channel on Monday Wednesday Friday and then I will be streaming on my own channel Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. So make sure to go give me a follow on Twitch if you want to see uh, content. Fun stuff. Really cool stuff. <laughs> so anyway, I think at this point I am just going to drop off and give you a few minutes to listen to some awesome Mega Neko. And I also wanted to give her a big thanks if she's watching this. Thank you for the music. Really appreciate it. And yeah, anyway, I will see you guys next week. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye. <laughs>